We are told that Russell gave the first mail pouch to the first rider, leaving out after the cannon sounded right here in St. Joseph, Missouri. As you can tell, these men liked adventure. Uh, it didn't always exactly happen, but did they let it stop them? No, they just kept seeking another prize and hoping someday that the Bonanza would be theirs. So we're not sure really who invented it, but we also know the idea the Pony Express actually ended up working. We know that the Pony Express lasted only 18 months, which is something most people think lasted for years. We know that, you know, they established how many miles in between it. Russell, he was the contract man, and as you look at their history, he knew how to keep the contracts rolling. I mean, he did that for all those years uh, through it, and we know in the very end when the guys ended, some people say, well, do you think they knew? I think they knew that any adventure that they had done had not lasted forever. They kept thinking there would be another bonanza and they would do something else. By this time, we know the train is starting to be built across. And once the train gets there, you know, that, that was truly the fastest way. And for a long time, that's how the mail went, you know. But what really ended it? The telegraph. Because the instant messages, as we would call them today, much like your phones, bing, 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 that's how they did it. So the instant messages were able to get there. So the mail still had to be taken care of by the Wells Fargo guys. So that's how it went, and that's how it became what you would say today is a great piece of, of history. In American uh, icons of all the things that people talk to me about, one of the things they remember in school is the name of Russell Majors and Waddell or the Pony Express. 